What is up, guys? I'm Zoff. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. And this is Real Time. Today we're coming back at you with Season 3, Episode 7 of Ted Lasso, The Strings That Bind Us. Last episode, obviously, was the night out in Amsterdam. It was a crazy episode. There were so many different storylines. Um, I personally enjoyed the Ted one the most. I think he put together an offense that was already um, created before, but it's the triangle offense, and I think that's going to... Um, be a big factor in this episode i think we're going to actually use it because at the end he talked to beard and they i think they agreed on using this new offense let's see how it works um i'm really excited to see what what happens we're going to get out of that little what felt like a filler episode but wasn't it was a really awesome episode but we're going to get back into uh richmond and start playing jamie and roy last episode i feel like took more of a backseat. they were literally just working out the entire time running and then jamie taught roy how to ride a bike it was super sweet honestly i really like the bromance that they've got going on right now and i just like the i just like how passionate roy is about making jamie better like he really really wants him to take that next level and become the the leader of the team that we need especially now that we've lost zava like Without Zava, it looks like we shouldn't even be in the Premier League. So having Jamie put in all this extra work is definitely going to pay off in the end, I think. And hopefully with Ted's new offense, like Zuff was talking about, that can really skyrocket Jamie's um, potential. One of the most shown storylines last episode was actually Rebecca. Obviously, she fell into like the water and then this dude called her over to his boat and very cool guy. I, I want to say, I, I saw some comments. I think we messed up at the end there. We thought he was saying like, he thought, we thought he was saying like, did we do it? But he was, it wasn't that they didn't do it. So clarify that. We thought he was a little bit crappy for that, but sorry about that one. I think we misinterpreted it, but I don't know if he's going to be a returning character or not. I know Rebecca has like a part of her psychic reading was that she's going to be a mother. So We'll see what happens there, although we know that she got her results back and she can't apparently ca like carry a child right now, so that will be interesting. There was also a few other sto storylines last episode I really liked. For example, Colin and Trent Krim. That was really good. Yeah, Colin finally has someone he can talk to about it. We know Trent Krim's known about it since that one night at Sam's restaurant, so I think that'll make him a lot more comfortable. And also, he said something like, I just want to be able to kiss my fella at the end of the games yeah. like the boys I hope can. He gets to do that. I I feel like at the end of the season we're going to see that. I think that Colin's going to eventually do that and I just know the boys are going to be supportive. fully supportive yeah. about that. So I'm looking forward to it. If you guys do like our videos, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We got the Patreon, the Discord and all of our social medias as well as our PO box in our second channel. Make sure you check all this out. And yeah, we'll go right into season 3 episode 7 of Ted Lasso, The Strings That Bind Us. Let's do this. Oh, I love this song. This is the song that played at the very it. end of Dairy Girls. Mmm. It's by... Look at this, bro. <laughs> this is great. It's by the Cranberries. I want to listen to this. Very good phone. song. A I Taste of Athens. I put it on my phone after Dairy Girls. Where's Claire? Quiet as it seems. <laughs> he likes her, bro. Jade. Like this before. Even more. I like Nate. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, gonna, he's, he's gonna do the wrong thing. Oh, never mind. I thought he's gonna walk it and pull it or whatever. <laughs> he's winning me back. Is everything okay mm -hmm. in here? I don't know. Is everything okay in here? Yes, yes chef. Yes, chef. Okay? So Sorry. I was right back in the bear. No, poo poo head. I poo poo head. Coming in and I'll hope <laughs> okay, listen. Right <laughs> Samuel, if the food is good, which it is, no one cares. Mm, that's not what the bear taught, taught us. Right. Yeah, dude, you have to pay attention to the spoons, actually. I know from Richie. I think it was the forks. The episode was called Forks. That's true, but he did spoons as well, I think. No, it might have just been forks. It was forks. <laughs> He's coming all the way from Nigeria. I think it was only it's spoons, I thought. Mm -mm. No, it was because there were forks. smudges or whatever. It was forks. Whatever, guys. Style of play, dare I say, a philosophy called Total Football. Which, coincidentally. I like that name. Total Football. Uh, no, 
Well, it's true, but hey, it's not about me. <laughs> the best player on that team and the godfather of total football was this guy. Can anyone tell me who this is? It's Tim Robinson from I think he should <laughs> What? What a shout. <laughs> it kind of looks like him. My apologies. It really looks like him. I don't know who that guy is. Johan Cloud. That's it. Took his small club Ajax to three straight European titles. Now he later became a coach. Is that what it's called, Ajax? Yeah, I thought it was Ajax. No. Maybe like the brand of cleaning products. I know there's a guy named Ajax in Mortal Kombat. I mean, that might be Ajax, but the club, the football club Ajax is pronounced Ajax. I think his name might just be Jax. I literally remember there's a scene in this show where Ted, or Rebecca's texting Ted, and you can see an old message and she's spelling it out. Like, no, like... Ajax, not Ajax. Chester City. Where he briefly coached a uh, very talented young player. <laughs> dumb dumb quit to go do a reality show. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to watch Jamie's show. It was about constant movement. Players are no longer in set positions. Defenders are free to attack. Attackers That's really cool. It's a Positionless football. Choices. Like when your friend wears something new and outside of his comfort zone, and instead of ignoring it, everybody pays him a compliment. Mm -hmm. oh, by the way, great hat, Ash. Ash? Who is Ash? Thanks nicely. Exactly. Total football is about letting go of your baggage. <laughs> that was bad. I don't like Ash. You don't like him? Uh uh. It's Pinter. It's Einstein. It's Curie. It's Gaga. It's my mother proudly displaying her vibrator on the bedside table. What? Wow. <laughs> I'm just picturing him in that. What was he dressed up as? Piggy Stardust. Yeah. What a beautiful life. Football, football is, is life. life. Total football is life. Look at Danny. <laughs> He's chills. About the history of total football because that's what we're going to start playing here. What? No, no, no. We're gonna train it, and then in a couple of months, we're taking total football to the fucking pitch. Well, no, actually, we're gonna do it this Saturday against Arsenal. Mm. That's fucking mental. No. <laughs> oh, oh, hush your butts. What? Hush your butts. Let's go. Come on. Shoot, shoot. No, no, no. Ta -da. Ta -da. He's gonna work some magic, but on paper, this sounds like a terrible idea. Hush your butt. Hush your butt. Hush your butt. Get that butt hushed. Bam, bam. I love how they're still rolling with that. I, I really want to see him with Jade. Invite her. Ah. <sighs> uh. Hey, sorry. Yes, Wonderkind. Mm. Can you set a reminder for tomorrow? It's Wonder Kid. How can you tell if a girl likes you or has just been nice to you? Nate. You can't. Siri would never say some shit like that. I'm starting to get all these subtle little hints from Jane. Like certain magazines. I can't believe we're still talking about Jane. Always hearing about her friends are doing it. And we're almost done. Just like the running joke of the, his storyline, I think. Yeah. I don't know. There he is. Oh. <laughs> Derek is that his name? Yeah. Darius. He calls him Nathan Jelly. Derek. So keep it up, Darius? Please. Like from <laughs> Arcane? No. League of Legends? <laughs> I don't think he's in Arcane. She's off Tuesdays. She goes to school. Or feeds her mum. I don't listen, so I don't really... He's a Noxian. Um, thank you. Uh, Derek, thank you. Bye. Um, uh, yes, no, this... What? That sounds like me. I was gonna say, he's speaking your language. What the fuck am I doing here? I don't know. That's beard. He's the one. From end to end to end to end. But lucky for you, I'm in a good mood. So you've only got to do that for the whole fucking. <laughs> 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 Jamie up front, leading the pack. He's been in shape. Jan. No, 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 no. Ew, ew. Oh. Jan, Colin, and Isaac all puking. Nate. Oh, I love it. Hello, girls left and right, yeah? Okay, I, I don't think <laughs> For a young lady, who wants ice cream? I do. Great. Let's go to the corner shop. Ali, come with us. 
Let them have their. <laughs> he made. He did have some Alexandria. You and the little bit. Anastasia. Anastasia I think was. It was close. Started with an A, ended with an A. I think they sat at the window seat for two minutes before she left. No, but they had that night out. Remember? And then she said, call me again. Find out? Ask her out. No, I can't. No, I can't. I can't do that. <laughs> what is the worst that could happen? Well, she laughed in my face and said no. I let her scurry away, humiliated. Never to be <laughs> like he did when he slid past the window that one time. Just have to, you know. Sit on the pavement outside eating takeaway fish and fish <laughs> through the window like Your father would kill me. Show him the map. What map? What is the map? That is sister. Yeah. Your father and I went to school together for years. But I didn't think he even knew I existed. <clears throat> Distance between the places that we were born, 4,120. Wow that we were raised 4,230 miles distance between our dorms on campus Isn't that weird mm, I think it's kind of cute uh, they but did this after they were dating not before it's how he asked her on a date I think yeah and she said that he hadn't said a word to her yes you could fail and be embarrassed I mean also get married have two wonderful children and live happily ever after Oh, shit. <laughs> Distract him. Nate, I, I want Nate to do something extravagant to ask her out. I say this. Go home. Britain is closed. Over the last few days. Someone needs to send her back to where she came from. Her mother's butthole. <laughs> yeah. Try and speak to the better angels of this clearly misguided person. Using his platform for good. Make Britain better than this bitch. Mm. No. I, I think I'll. Yeah. Let's play it safe here, Sam. Come on, Nate. He just stares at her before he walks in. He's gonna get a spit. I hope not. No, he's gotta spit. That's his thing. If he spits, then he's gonna he's gonna do this. That's so weird. Don't need you don't need to. Nope. You didn't okay, okay, he didn't okay, okay. He held it in. Look how happy he is. <laughs> pull, pull, pull. Yes, <laughs> dude. I love how he always pulls it. <laughs> what is he doing? He, he set, set something up, up, I bet. Something cool. Whistle! Whistle, bring it in! Dude, the way he walked out of there was crazy. He slides. Like, he doesn't walk. Like, he has heelys on. Then anywhere at any time. And the way to do that well is to <laughs> understand and appreciate everyone's position and every will today as our kit man. What? <laughs> oh gosh. What's Will doing? Y'all are gonna be swapping positions with someone else. Yeah? Uh, for example, you know, Isaac, we're gonna move you up to forward, and Danny, we're gonna drop you back to defense. Got it? Yeah. And Danny is gonna be you. Make sense? We're gonna fucking walk, right? I love that. We're gonna fuck him up, bro. <laughs> Uh, you go ahead, bro. Help me out here. Roy's now gonna be handing out a piece of paper that's got someone's name on it. That's the name of the person you're gonna do the swap a root with. Van Dam and Bumper. Oh my catch? god, it's Will. Will as oh beard. My gosh. Will as beard. They're just gonna start acting like each other, bro. Jamie stays. Jamie is Jamie. That has been a mistake. I got me. Oh no, Jamie, that's not a mistake. We just figured you want to keep doing what you do best for us. Playing striker in the storm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, she won? Yeah? No, he wants to be a part of it. Okay. Have fun out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 
shut up and oh dribble. Oh my god, dude. That's the LeBron thing, right? Yeah. Get the fuck out of my chair. <laughs> 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 F word. Yeah. I like it when characters that don't curse, curse. Nate's gonna do something fucking cool, dude. And it's gonna make me like him even more. I just miss him. Why does he have to be on West Ham with fucking Rupert? Is he looking for him? I think so. Constant concentration, yeah. So if Sam makes a run through the center, y'all got a shift, right? And if Danny moves back on defense, that means what? Hell is frozen over. Mm -hmm. No, no strings are attached to each of their little fingers. Ooh. Okay, so why is it tied around our dicks? <laughs> what? <laughs> Actually tied around their dicks? It is that it is nearly impossible to not be fully aware of what your teammate's doing when y'all got a rope tied around your ding dong. All right about that, Roy? Yeah. <laughs> Get too tight. Do not leave my side. Shall we? So if they go if they go too far away, they're gonna pull at each other. Yeah. Oh my gosh. On their dicks. Who's that? Never seen that. Who <laughs> was <laughs> No. <laughs> no, we won't do that part. Well, give a little space, Danny. Sorry, coach. Hey. Who's he attached to? To the goal for us. I'm ready to play. No. Not Jamie's. Roy. It's okay. It's oh, thank God. We can't lose Jamie's penis. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting write for his book. Oh. Let's go. Nice. <laughs> He's getting too into it. He's making her a box. Oh. A box? He makes those boxes. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is so fucking sweet, dude. Yeah. Uh, I love it. It's nice. Like some people would think it's a little bit odd. I thought the map was odd. I think the map is way weirder. I mean, she obviously likes him. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. oh, it's gonna be run over. It's gonna no, be run over. <laughs> 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 Why did he just lay there? Oh, <laughs> what was that no. trip? No. <laughs> Would you like to go on a date with me? Yes. <laughs> it's that easy, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> he went home and made that box. Oh, it's because of his tweets, bro. Oh no. Wow. That is insane, bro. How are they allowed to do that? They're not. They, they, I mean, what? It's a crime. They broke in. Oh, damn. Damn. The world is full of evil people who do shitty things, but I can't deal with that right now because I have to go and kick a little ball around. What we so and then he's just gonna wanna ship me back wherever I fucking came from. Samuel. That's dad? 
I don't know, but that guy's in... He's in Zoo. He's one of the main characters in Zoo. <laughs> Where did his dad come from, dude? <laughs> Piss off the people who did this. Forgive them. What? Forgive them. Big whoop. Big whoop. <laughs> but you know, if you won't sit out today, I totally understand. Thank you, Butch. No, he's going to practice. Oh, you heard the man. It's really nice to finally meet you, sir. You too. <laughs> you know, I almost wore that exact. <laughs> 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 I love Sam's dad. He's in one of my favorite characters from the show Zoo. You know who's also in Zoo? I was gonna say, I feel like you have said that it's show before. Charlie from Twilight. And he's a main character too. Charlie. Oh. It's game day. Oh yeah. Oh, these kits are dope. Oh yeah. Cat. They have a home and away and the alternate. It's not looking good. Look like a ZZ top cover man. <laughs> Would have been called sharp dressed men. Ooh, that's nice. God, I hate what you fucking done to me. <laughs> <laughs> you just sit behind a couple of the wrong ones. Yeah? <clears throat> Here, speak up, Jamie, please. Stuff? Okay. Well, Get it? Oh, he has a gun. Okay. I'm doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Whoa. I mean, I mean, no. I mean, I think we're all doing it wrong. You're having Jamie be Jamie. Be here, right? Let Danny go up front. Move Colin over there. Richard there. So stop going. See me on there. FIFA. I have right. Jamie center. So I'm just smart. Hmm. On behalf of the team. That's number four, baby. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Greyhound still three They're gonna win. There's, There's only 15 minutes left. I don't know. Scored three goals in 15. Yeah, use Jamie as a bridge. Uh oh, Bumba or catch. Bumba, Bumba. Who's Goodman? Jamie. Oh! That was filthy, Jamie. The Frenchman. Who scored? The Frenchman. The Frenchman. Who's the Frenchman? Yeah, he's French. Montlor. Montlor. Yo, I Trent know Krim? number four. It's going to work. Great. What if? It's out of football. Okay, and I'll tell you why. Why? You haven't switched tactics in a week. I haven't. No, you've done this over three seasons. I have. Yes, by slowly but surely building a club-wide culture of trust and support. Moments all leading to their inevitable conclusion. Total football. Well, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even matter what number four is. Why is he so pumped up? I love Trent Krim. Oh no. Come. Oh, is he gonna get stood up? He's here. Hey. He looks lovely. <laughs> He's so happy. They're, they're at the window seat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As <laughs> requested. Did they fix it already or what? I want the team to be here. Yeah, dude. Aww. That's so fucking cool. I'll just ask ourselves, what does this situation need? We thought your situation needed us. <laughs> yeah. The window this morning. Didn't get a discount though, because he's a prick. <laughs> 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 it's 
So very nice to meet you, Simi. Sam has told me so much about you. Ooh, has he? <laughs> yes, he has. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. Well, I'm happy to meet you too, Mr. Obisanya. No, 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 no. My father was Mr. Obisanya. Call me Ola. Oh, this is named after him. Man, Dan looks cool. I don't think Jamie's allowed to drink. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, that was a fantastic episode. Um, I loved that Sam's father came into it. That was really cool. He's a really cool guy. We've been hearing so much about him throughout the show, just over text or over the phone. But he was finally here. Ola came to town, um, made the situation awkward for two of Sam's girls. Um, but he was awesome. Sam was cool this episode. He did a little bit of rebelli rebelling towards that. Uh, I don't know what, it, what she was, but it was definitely like a big... Political figure. Yeah, political figure. So... And that didn't turn out too well until uh, his team came in and helped them, helped Sam repair the restaurant. It was just a good time at the end of that episode. I really, really liked Nate this episode. Just, they're really trying to make us remember the old Nate and feel, I don't know, I just miss him. Like, I feel like I keep reiterating that. I just miss the guy. I wish he was on our side. And seeing the way he was acting towards Jade this episode just made that so much that feeling so much more intense like seeing him make that box for her he he just cares so much about pe like the people that he cares about i just wish that him and ted could figure out what they've got going on i think it's it, i mean it's inevitable it's gonna happen uh i'm really glad that nate's date worked out because th they've been building that chemistry between him and jade for a really really long time and i'm glad that he's finally getting some payoff and that he actually built up the courage to be able to ask her out himself yeah but a lot of this episode was working on the total football method and i think there at the end that was just like the sign that this is gonna work even like trent Grimm said this is the this is gonna be the thing that works i totally agree though like the way they were playing there just felt so fluid and unselfish which is i think amazing like even in basketball like those plays where just everyone's just passing like a million times and getting every, people someone open mm -hmm. to eventually shoot it i just love how that looks and i just think it's a great way to play the game uh before like with zava just pass the zava it's it's fun yeah. but it's not like it's not what's the word like it can't last a long time it's it's gonna eventually crash and burn so I think this is a great way, not just like on the field too, but you could see off the field, everyone just is together, like as one, they're one unit. Even the fans. Yeah, the fans too. <laughs> yeah. I just noticed that fans. this is probably the most perfect named episode for what happened. Yeah, the strings that bind us. Literally. Yes, if you like our videos, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, check out our links in the description. We've got the Patreon, the Discord, and all of our social medias, as well as our PO box and our second channel. Make sure you check those out. And yeah, we'll catch you guys next time for season three, episode eight of Ted Lasso. Peace out.